Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Antarctica 88. If you want to find out where you can get it for yourselves, look down below in the description, you'll find the links and the details down there. So, in this game it's Antarctica, it's 1988, and that is a research station where my father and his team should be working. Drilling up the ice, looking at minerals, analysing what they find. Only thing is, nobody's heard from them in weeks. So I'm sent there as part of a rescue team to see what's going on, to see if anything happened to them. Based on the bloody handprint that I see on the door up there, I think something happened to them. This could be, like, a Russian version of the thing, and that sounds really fun, really enjoyable. If you do enjoy this, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments. But here we go, let's begin a new game of Antarctica 88. On... ghost mode? Oh no, absolutely not, no. Let's, uh, let's go for normal instead. And I'm playing this in the day, so it's going to be in daylight. Seems like the rescue mission's going well. <laughs> what happened? Pick up a shotgun. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. Don't mind if I do. Something shrieked in the distance. We got some ammo. All right. Lattice above the large container. This. So am I? Am I trapped in here? Yeah, I am. How did I? <laughs> Maybe this is one of those prologues that's going to sort of rewind and it's going to show me how I got into this situation. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, I can drag this. Right, so that's going to be the stepping stone. And oh, perfect balance. Look at that. Right. So, okay, don't break it. Just push it, and uh, and now it's telling me about using a box. That makes sense. Find a way to the surface. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Hopefully, away from the screams. Looks like a blockage. Just snow. I guess I can't dig through that. Nothing to find. Okay, yeah, let's go this way. What about that glow stick? Can I take that? No. I don't think I've got a light source of my own. Yeah, how did I get down here? What? Oh, maybe it's got something to do with that. Whatever that is. Oh boy. Oh shit. Oh shit, okay. Whatever that was, I should say. <laughs> it's dead now. Crisis averted. Game over. Alright. Maybe that's what my dad was researching. Maybe that's what he dug up in the ice. So what this is, essentially, is a PC port of a phone game. If you go on iOS or Android, the App Store, you know, you're gonna find this game. So, yeah, I, I'm not expecting the best in terms of quality. But, you know, so far it looks okay. I hear scuttling in the distance. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, unless, of course, I want to die. And I don't think I want to die on the prologue. Oh! There we go. Okay, so yeah, two or three blasts to the face, and they're down. And there's plenty of them, apparently. Over to the right? Okay. Well, I quite like this shotgun. <laughs> Okay. Out here to the right. There we go. So, yeah, what am I doing down here? Just eradicating these things? Or am I trying to find my dad? Trying to find the team? We'll find out at some point, I'm sure. I'm gonna get lost in these caves, aren't I? In these tunnels. Okay, second level this way. At least there's signposts. Oh. Hey there. Wait, is this Russian Stranger Things? That's the Demogorgon, right? Oh, and that's actually the end of the prologue. Huh. Oh, a few hours before. Right, yeah, let's see how we got to that stage. October 18th, 1988, 5.42. Geological Research Station, Antarctica 1. Over the part. Over the past six months, the expedition of my father, Vladimir Efimov, was involved in the mining of the sea and the discovery of the historic sites on the station Antarctica 1. Okay. Шесть недель назад экспедиция перестала выходить на связь. Сегодня я прибыл в составе спасательного отряда из четырех человек, чтобы выяснить, что произошло. So what happens to the other three guys? Тогда я еще даже не представлял, что меня ждет впереди. Maybe that's what happened to them. 
Hmm, okay. Yep, let's wake up and let's see what's waiting for me. Find a way to get warm. In a place like this, that's going to be tough. What have we got here? Russian Let's Players? Possibly. Yeah, I think so, essentially. <laughs> okay. Ah, what's this? I picked up a keycard. Uh, I don't know what it says on it. Hopefully that doesn't really matter. Something over here as well, by the looks of it. Picked up the map, laboratory. Now, I think to access the map, it's... Yeah, it's in here. Okay, so we've got the inventory, where I've got the keycard. We've got weapons too. None at the moment. Uh, but we've got the map. Okay. So, this is the lab area. Not really too much to it. And then, of course, we've got the settings. And they're fairly basic, but it's kind of to be expected. And this is how we save? Apparently so. Okay. Right, well, let's see. What else can we find here? Oh, oh. Oh, this is how we get warm. I'm probably going to need a little bit more than that, but... Okay, I've got an aid kit. Not a first aid kit, an aid kit. Might be a second aid kit. Huh, okay, I don't know if it's wise to have sliding doors like that, that open by themselves in a place like this. But that's just me. Okay. Oh, another one. Yeah. And I've seen you before. In another game. I think that's just like a free asset. What we got here? The Thing 1982. And what was that? Aliens? Aliens, yeah. Okay, so there you go. That's the, the inspiration for this. <laughs> oh, now we're talking. Never mind. Got my hopes up for nothing. <laughs> it happens all the time. Uh, right, so. Let's go. Алексей, Джек, Гарри, где вы? They were the other three guys in the rescue team, I assume. Hmm. Doesn't look good. And there you go, I was right. It's a bloody handprint up there. And a bloody keypad. Oh, apparently I've done it. <laughs> Restore electricity? Oh. Oh. It's not even about finding a code. Just restore electricity, apparently. Nice. Can't get this open? I don't think so. I don't see any bodies, though, so maybe someone just had a bit of a paper cut. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Oh! That looks like an item. A jerry can? Yep, I can pick up a fuel canister. There you go. The fuel tank is explosive. Looks like I need to be careful next to it. Am I going to be? Probably not. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Let's just back away slowly. Right. So... Let's see. I'm following the cables. Over here. Okay, we got some pipes. Ah, is that a generator? Seems there's no... Well, I've got the fuel. I've got... The... Okay, I just need to... Uh, I just need to put this in somewhere. Uh, is there a cap? Maybe some sort of nozzle thing? I... Hmm. Guys? <laughs> I know this isn't live, but can you somehow help me out? Uh, I'm not seeing anything. I'm just sort of spamming F on it, but yeah, nothing. Can't do anything with the barrels either. Right, what's this connected to exactly? That goes around there to the pipe. Oh, that actually goes to the, the massive tank. Got ya. Oh, I, I need something to open the valve. And that's gonna go straight to it, so... Okay, so I don't... Maybe the jerry can that I've got is just something else entirely. We've got something over here. Maybe I can find a valve handle over here. Or down here in this bunker, maybe. Ooh, hang on. Hey! Okay! Got our first weapon! Brilliant. 
Can't get that open, apparently. Ah, ah, ha, 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 here we are. It does look fragile, doesn't it? Especially when I'm holding an axe. Beautiful. Snowmobile? All right. Uh, it needs a repair. Uh, okay, uh, let's see what I can do. Oh, that's the valve lever, right. And there's something next to it, too. Okay, so a diary entry from June 27th. Today we finally arrived at the station. I don't understand why we were sent here during the polar night and storms. The expedition miraculously survived on the road. Several times everything was on the verge of collapse. Only Efimov is aware of the situation. We can only hope that it's worth it. I've been trying to fix this damn snowmobile all day. I'm chilled to the marrow. Hmm. Oh. So we can look in every single drawer, can we? Interesting. Well, if... Okay, that made me jump. Something just attacked the door? What was that? Oh, there's something over here. Oh! I need a key to start it. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I will look for one, I suppose. So that's what he was struggling with? You just couldn't put that on the bottom? <laughs> he needs to get good. Hmm. Anyway, right, I've got the I've got the valve thing, haven't I? I've got the valve lever, so maybe I can add that to the pipe and get the flow going. And if that's gonna go straight to the generator. There you go. Let's try that button again. Anything around here? Nope. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it works. Right. Get into the laboratory. All right. So, do I need a code? Because at the moment, I actually don't have a code. Just the key card, apparently. All right. We're in. Ooh, another weapon. Get yourself a pistol. And I hear the scuttlers. They're here already. A transistor! Okay. Something in here? Oh, yeah. Pistol ammo. I like it. Plenty of places for uh, things to hide. Right. Flamethrower fuel. Okay. <laughs> Flamethrower? Sounds fun. Oh, wow. Alright, well, there's quite a lot to pick up. Quite a lot to play with. Definitely need to find this flamethrower. Okay, uh, these things must be outside, or they're on a different level. Maybe they're in the caves below. Okay, pistol ammo, lovely. What's that? Oh, I see. Ah. Oh, and something over there. Oh, there's loads of stuff over here, actually. Another transistor for something. More pistol ammo. Oh, it's everywhere. Wonderful. Okay. It really is everywhere. Wow. That's making me jump. <laughs> uh, okay. I think that's kind of it, right? Let's go this way. Ooh, more blood. Whoa! Okay, so four rounds with the pistol, and it disappears. Okay. Ah! Oh. I really thought that was behind me. Okay. Hmm. That's not good. Oh. Okay. So... Let's just keep on hunting for stuff in the drawers, right? Might as well. Nothing there, okay. What's this? Oh, there are no more doubts. Those strange formations that we found in ice samples are traces of life forms that are still unknown to science. Judging by the depth and dosimeter readings, these tracks are no less than 600 to 700 million years! If this is confirmed, we will become the discoverers of the most ancient life form on the planet. Nice. Well done, Dad.
Okay, another aid kit. I don't know how to use the aid kits. Uh, hopefully I never need to find out. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I can hear something walking around. I, I and It actually does seem like it's walking around. It seems like it's completely different than what I've seen before. Is that a bug? I mean, I know they look bug-like, but it feels like they shouldn't be screeching at me. Oh, okay. What we got here? Uh, we're moving forward from the Vostok station. Ahead there are impossible 68 kilometers of ice and snow to the station, which was founded only a couple of months ago. There's a rumor that researchers found something incredible there, but I strongly doubt that it's worth risking our lives. Right. Fix the radio station. Whoa! Christ, that's loud. The transistors. Oh, and there's a key. Ah. Всем, всем, всем. Говорит профессор Антонов. Срочно прекратите исследование образцов. Они живые. Они напали на нас. Screeching in the background. Более ужасных тварей. Товарищ Быков погиб. Нужно немедленно уничтожить образцы, чтобы не допустить их распространения. Я забрал ключ карту от оружейной у Ефимова. Оружие – это единственный шанс выжить. Их слишком много. Нам срочно нужна помощь на буровой станции. Выдвигайтесь к нам как можно скорее. The drilling station, okay. And this is the snowmobile key. Right. I think we're going to be getting out of here. And I think I've pretty much seen all that I can see in here. So let's get out, shall we? Oh, right. That. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. That's the thing. That's the thing that I can hear walking around. Right. I'm in. I'm in. I need a key. I've got the key. There's no fuel. I've got the fuel. Yes. Yes. <laughs> And I just ran straight through it. Oh, the gorge. Take the map here. I didn't take the map. Take the... Never mind. Alright, moving on to the gorge now. On the snowmobile. Okay, we actually get to do a little bit of driving. Oh god, this controls so weirdly. Oh boy. Oh, I don't like this. Um, yeah. It, it's a real basic game. It feels like a phone game, but it's it's all right. Just take it all with a pinch of salt, you know. Oh boy. Right. Whoa! Hang on. <laughs> That's why the flags are there. It's not because this is like a ski slalom or something. No, there's a there's a bit of a gap. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go around. Right. Maybe this would be easier if I picked up the map. Maybe there'd be something like the heads-up display that tells me where the gaps are. I don't know. Oh, right. What have we got here then? Oh, we... Oh, can we? Oh, neat. Okay, nice. Drilling station that way. What's this, though? What are we gonna find? Somewhere to save. Oh, ammo? Lots of ammo. Whoa! Loads of it! My hands are trembling. At a new drilling place, we discovered a huge cave, just 20 meters below the ice surface. The sensors detected some movement in it. Obviously, this is a hardware error. Engineers are thinking how we can modify the drill so that we can go down there. Everybody's on edge. Efimov has not been sleeping for three days. I'm going back to the research station to tell my colleagues everything. And that's September. Okay. Oh, we can open these? Apparently so. Can't take that, no. Uh, can we take the ladder? No, okay. What about the shovel? Hmm. That's a long way down. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm getting a little bit chilly. Let's go back on this and let's continue to the drilling station. Being, I'm, believe it or not, I'm being quite delicate with the controls. And I think I... Oh, God. Yeah. It, I think I, I need to. I don't want to go off the edge here. Oh, my goodness. All right. Through the cave. Uh, 
Okay, drilling station around here somewhere. There's a bridge. Was a bridge. Fuck. Okay, find a way to overcome. Wait, hang on. He's just chilling out and walking by the side of me. Oh, there's a couple of them actually. R oh Christ! Hang on, hang on. I'm getting out of here. Oh really? Where well, he just came out of the? Okay, yeah. This is this is a pretty bad game. <laughs> <laughs> but I can just run them over. Yeah, I can just ragdoll them. And I don't think there's any damage to the snowmobile either. Wow, okay. Right, let's see. Oh, yeah, let's just park it on the corpses. <laughs> Weird looking things. I wouldn't be surprised if they're all sort of like free assets. Maybe, uh, maybe you'll recognize a few. Right, but I can't climb this, can I? I hang on. I'm trying to use something. Is it? Oh, okay. It's, it's the wooden planks. The ones that fell off the bridge. Oh, I see. I'm making a little bit of a ramp, so I overcame the blockage not with laxatives but with wood. I should be able to get to the drilling station on the snowmobile then. Yeah. Clumsily, but it does work. Okay, well, yeah. Not too much of a threat when you're on this thing. What's that? Drilling? Okay. Yeah, it's feeling more and more like a phone game now. Inspect the main building. Don't mind if I do. Can I just... Oh, I can just get back on board. Oh, that just goes straight back to the gorge, though. I was hoping that I was just going to take him out and save the ammo. <laughs> so we can go back and forth? That's pretty interesting. And I can go backwards pretty quick on this thing too. Also interesting. <laughs> okay. Right. Where does that go? Where we want to go. But it's not open. Can I... Get around the other side. Oh, hang on. No oh, fuck. Oh, it, really? There's a fuse problem in a game like this? Colour me surprised. Right. Oh, goodness me. Okay, well, maybe let's take some of these guys out. I've got the ammo for it. Okay, so it's like four or five bullets for those guys. Shit, alright. Okay. Right, yeah, let's explore the main building. Let's go in here if I can. And I can, good. Lovely. Okay, what are we going to find? Also, yeah, I'm at 87% now. Um, how do we use those aid kits? Let's see. Settings, controls... Tab. Okay, fair enough. I don't know if I need to use one right now, but good to know for the future. So, the map, drilling? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was the drill over there. That's the thing that needs the fuses. Okay. Let's see what we can find. Alright, through here. Okay. There is some weird basic simplicity that I quite like about this though. I don't know why. It's like, this is one of those games that you don't really have to think about too much. Okay, so, <clears throat> in connection with the death of Comrade Baikov and the emergency situation at the station, a decision was almost unanimously made to end the expedition, destroy all the samples under investigation and undermine the descent into the caves. Comrade Efimov voted against the decision, which should certainly be reported to the authorities. Immediately transmit a, distre a distress signal in instructions to the research station, and then to the mainland. The messages should emphasize the presence of living and extremely dangerous creatures in the tunnels. Protocol of the meeting, December the 7th, 1237. Okay. Right. Mr. Efimov. Is Efimov my dad? I wouldn't be terribly surprised. Okay, through here. Let's see. 
Oh, who there? <laughs> okay, another key card by the looks of it. That looks like the other one. Does it go to the same area? Oh. Oh, I didn't realize there was a ladder down there, actually. That's Dad? Alright, I don't know how you recognized him, really, but well done. Oh. <laughs> There's so many little, like, cubby holes you can find stuff in, it seems. Anyway, okay, well, I, uh, I need to find a, a flashlight. Don't know where precisely, but we'll find out. Oh. Oh, the Flammenwerfer. Nice. And there's the flashlight. Okay, so with that, I think I should be able to follow my dad. Rifle ammo? There's a rifle? Wow. This gets better and better, doesn't it? I, to be honest, I, I forgot I had this. <laughs> Time for a fuel, another aid kit. Goodness me. Yeah. So, um... I wouldn't call this a terrible indie horror game. It's not a very good one, though. Like, whoa, Jesus Christ. It's a busy one. Shit. Bloody hell, do they... Oh, they do actually burn? They do. And they burn well. Good to know. Very good to know. I can hear yet more scuttling. Hopefully from outside. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Okay, what about this side? Damn. Alright. Well, I, I think I've got everything I need, really. But I... That sounds so close. I, yeah, I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything, really. Just collect what ammo I can. Uh, if there is any to find. And I don't think there is this time, actually. Hmm. Bit of a bugger. I don't know if that's above or below me. <laughs> okay. Some more lockers, let's see. Oh, here we go. Rifle ammo. I don't know where the rifle is. But I want it. Ooh. I don't understand anything. According to radiocarbon analysis, the age of the creature samples we deliver to the laboratory is not prehistoric. The device shows that they are from the same time as us. How is this possible? I really don't like all this. Yeah, the more I play, the less I like it too. <laughs> oh, I got a fuse! Okay, fantastic. Uh, I think that's it. Right, so the fuse goes on the back of the, uh, the lift, right? I, I thought there were more slots than one. Maybe there's another. Yeah, maybe maybe there's another fuse I can find elsewhere. Jesus, it's still startling me. You know, it's it's a really simple, basic game, but it is still startling me occasionally. Right, quickly. I'm just gonna outrun them if possible. Oh yeah, there's like there's there's room for like two more, I think. Can I actually hide up here? Yeah, I can. Okay, well, that's, that's good. This is where I'm going to do my thinking. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'm going to have to try and follow my dad. Let's go. Okay, right, down. Yep, that's it. Alright, we're like halfway through the game. <laughs> Oh, that's not that fair. Oh, bloody hell. Woo! Gonna need the ammo. 
Right, uh, so. Flamethrower fuel? Good stuff. Let's go down here. Oh, what's that? More pistol ammo? Definitely can't squeeze through there. But I'm sure something can. Alright. I was locked here for some reason. Right, so I'm just going to press tab. Okay, so it at least does 25% on normal mode. I imagine it'd be slightly different on uh, extreme. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get lost here. But this is looking pretty much like the area where I found the shotgun, so that's good. That's a positive. Dead end. Uh, yeah, dead end with spikes on the ceiling, so yeah. Maybe I should just melt it all. Up here? Okay. Dad, where are you? Oh. Alright, you go that way, I'll go this way. Wait, hang on. We're back here again. Do I have a map of this area? No, I don't. Not at the moment. Right. Oh, bloody hell. Right, you can't squeeze through, can you? So you're just going to burn. Have fun. <laughs> You've charred enough. Good stuff. Shelter. All right. Is this Penumbra now? Ah! Okay. Ooh! Lovely. We just discovered a whole creature. I can't believe my eyes. It's perfectly preserved in ice and remotely resembles a crustacean. We will deliver it to the laboratory for study. Our expedition will go down in history. For all the wrong reasons. Pickaxe? No? No, I don't fancy doing any mining this time. Oh, here we go. Now I've got the map. Uh, so, we're there. Drilling? Well, that's where we came from, right? That's all the dead ends. Dungeon 2, I guess. I want to go around to the right, through there. Up and around. Why well, I need to get to Dungeon 2. I don't know why it's called Dungeon. Shouldn't it be called Cave? <laughs> Makes it sound a lot more ominous, though. I'll give it that. Right, yeah, let's save. Just in case. You never know. Okay. Let's move on. So this way... I think I actually want to go around to the right, but just out of interest. What are we going to find here? More enemies? Many more enemies. Okay. Anything else? Maybe something that makes the ammo worth it? Okay. Beautiful. Even more. Lovely. Okay, so let's go back. So this, this is the shelter, right? So I need to go this way, and then I need to go to the right. And then across here. Yeah, this looks kind of familiar. I don't really trust these planks for whatever reason. I know it's not the best game I've ever played, but hopefully you're still enjoying it. I mean, there is some sort of quality to it that, yeah, I, I do appreciate. Oh, shit, I'm dead. Sin, держись. Oh, Dad, I'm not dead. Еще немного. A little more? Oh, you're dragging me out. Oh, nice. Теперь с тобой все будет в порядке. Я отлично ориентируюсь в пещере и изучил повадки этих существ. Будь осторожен. Oh. Они совершенно слепы, но отлично слышат. Поэтому просто I didn't realize. Я запру дверь и оставлю тебе свой дробовик. Постараюсь добраться до самого низа пещеры, где мы проводили взрывные работы. Там должен остаться динамит. 
С его помощью мы сможем взорвать завал и выбраться. Окей. Okay. Oh, and this is the prologue again, isn't it? So, wait, you lock... Dad, you lock me in here? But you do lock me in here with a shotgun. So, yeah, thanks for that. No ammo this time, though. Huh, okay, weird. Yep, so it locks. Let's do this again. So, escape from the room. Done. Right. Well, let's, let's take a look at the map. So we're there. I went round there. That's where the... Ah, okay. Yeah. Got ya. So that, that part just caved in. Anyway, we need to go this way. Because we need to go to dungeon level 2. Or, or the cave's second level, don't we? Oh! Feels good to be back in my hands. Oh, beautiful. Right. Okay, so there's nothing around here. Just over here. Again, don't want to fall. A little bit of deja vu. Okay. Probably should be using the, um, the axe a little bit more, honestly. I feel like I'm wasting some ammo, but I've got quite a lot of it. Oh, let's see. Oh! See, th this is why I don't use it. Because <laughs> I get hit. Right, so there's going to be a big thing around here. It's the, uh, it's the Demogorgon. That is what it is, right? It looks very, very similar. It dies quickly. Okay. Is that a, a fairly typical monster? Am I going to find more of those down in the second level? Only one way to find out. Okay. Ooh. Oh, another shelter? Yeah, sure. Don't mind if I do. Lovely. I really hope I haven't missed this rifle. Keep finding the ammo for it, but I haven't actually found the gun itself. Okay, got the map for it. Nice. Oh, there's so much here. Uh, so, let's have a look at the map. So, it looks like there's a couple of dead ends. We're going all the way around here. To another shelter, maybe? Uh, yeah, okay, it doesn't actually lead to anything. I don't think there's a level 3. But, yeah, let's see what we find down here. Maybe we can find Dad, we can find the dynamite, we can find more fuses, I'm hoping, because I only found the one. Let's see. Right, let's get the shotgun out. I oh, hello. Oh, you can't get in here, can you? Oh, he's oh you can. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, uh. Oh. Oh, guys. You kind of signed yourself up for it. Right. So you can walk over the fire? It seems you can walk over the fire. Good. Okay, so down here should be a dead end, I think. And it is indeed. Up here? Can't... Oh, can I? No, I don't think I can jump to that. Oh boy. Alright, here we go. Jet. Jet. Oh, fucking hell. Ah, ah, ah. Die. Please. Okay, good. Was this where I was just trying to jump to? I think it probably was, right? Y yes, I think. Okay. Uh, no sign of dad or dynamite or fuses quite yet. Just horrible sounds in the distance. I suppose I can stack these, can't I? Lovely. Not so lovely. 
Ah, another one. Right. There we go. Nothing. Nothing at all. Damn. Okay. Yeah, the dead ends aren't too fruitful here, are they? Let's heal, just in case. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, I've got him stuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> what about the other guy? Where is he? Alright, let me just run back here. I should be safe. And you should burn. Wow. You look really bad, Scorched. <laughs> oh, bloody hell! Okay. Right. I think these guys just, like, infinitely respawn. I'm getting that kind of vibe. I mean, I can't prove it, but, yeah, it just seems to be the way of things. I wouldn't be terribly surprised if that was the case. I think we're going this way. Oh, well, let me just check the map. Are we, we are, in fact, going this way. Oh, this is one of the ways we can go. Uh, we're getting to the end. We're getting to another uh, another shelter as well, which is good. Yeah, I mean, I don't think this is a very good game, but I'm still having some fun with it. I'm okay admitting to that. Okay, there's the shelter. Oh, wow, look at this! So much stuff! Beautiful. Okay. Sure, why not? Oh, Okay, well, thankfully that doesn't destroy the computer. <laughs> so I can't open that or anything? No? Okay. Right. Um, I jumped over a tunnel. I don't know if I want to go down there, to be honest. Let's just get to the very end and then we'll, we'll probably have to come back, right? Oh, okay. What's this? Oh, look at all that stuff. Oh, is that my father's hat? Otec, nyet. <laughs> Didn't really sound like there was much emotion to that. Okay, the dynamo- Ah! Dynamo- And a fuse! Hey! Great! Oh. Three of them? Oh boy, oh boy. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, that's probably a lot tougher to deal with if you're using phone controls, I imagine. Anyway, where was I? Picking up all this stuff, that's right. Good stuff. Can I take that? Can I take my father's hat? No. Hmm, okay. So this is a dead end. But I've got the dynamite, so that's going to get me out of the cave somehow. Uh, I, well, I just have to destroy the cave-in? The one that nearly crushed me to death? I guess. Well, it, it's gotta be here, right? I gotta... Wait, what was that? I can't, I can't read the text. I need dynamite. Well, I've got it. Oh, but... Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I think when the corpses are burning, it doesn't actually hurt you. All right, we're up. We're up. We got the fuse. We should be able to get the funicular started, right? I, I, okay. I did it, I think. Oh God. Ah, shit. Go inside. <laughs> ah, he's right there. But yeah. One person capacity, I'm afraid. Okay, we're going to the radio tower. Don't worry, we'll be done with this soon. Right, the map? Yeah, let's have a look at the map of the radio tower, shall we? So... Uh... Alright. Uh, okay. It's a big area. Oh, that's a huge area. 
Okay. All right, well, it looks like uh, there's going to be a lot of fighting up ahead, so I'll grab what I can. Hey. Oh! The rifle! Yes! I was worried that I missed that. Nice. All right, radio tower it is. Oh, is that a corpse? Yeah, another corpse. With a tape recorder. Sorry, no. Dynamite, actually. Snowmobile key. Voice recorder. Okay. Uh, he's going rogue. And that's the last we hear from him. Okay. Oh! Blast the entrance to the caves, blow up the lab with... Oh, damn. All right. Oh, shit. I can drive this thing? But hang on, hang on, hang on. Blast the entrance to the caves and the lab with the samples. Right, there was the, uh... There was that rather large tank of gasoline. And the entrance to the caves near, near the drill. Yeah, maybe I should. Maybe I should. I mean, if I'm gonna do it, let's do it right. Yeah? I don't think I'll be playing this game again. So, uh... <laughs> let's go for the optional objectives as well. So, down we go. Back into the lion's den. Yeah, back to drilling. That means I'm going to have to use the snowmobile to go back to the gorge as well, I suppose, to get to the lab, but... No worries. Oh boy. Right, yeah, again. We've got some explosives here. Can I... Oh, there we go! Gotta leave this place, it's all going to explode now. Back on here, quick! Nice. Okay! It's as simple as that. I didn't really get to explore that area. Hopefully there was nothing of any value there. <laughs> Alright, so that's been ticked. Let's do the lab now. Although, hang on, didn't... I only got, like, one dynamite, I'm pretty sure. Hmm, maybe I can just shoot it or something, or maybe I, I kept a couple of sticks. This would be a lot more exciting, this area, if they were more of a threat when you're on the snowmobile. But hey, that's just ah, that's just me almost going to my death. Right, yeah. Okay, yeah, fiddly controls. Gentle, come on. I, I, this snowmobile needs a tender touch. Okay, so we got this area. I cleared that out. Um, we're going to have to go over the jump, aren't we? I don't precisely know where that was, so I'm going to be sort of gingerly going towards all the uh, all the, the sort of crevices and stuff that I think I might see. Was it around here somewhere? There were flags. Oh, I see the... Oh, the flag... Okay, the flags are on that side, but... Backing up. Backing up. <laughs> Crashing. <laughs> right, hopefully I get enough speed. Oh, just about. Ju oh, just about. Mm-hmm, okay. Just round here to the left. We're very close to the entrance. That's it. Laboratory this way. <laughs> Alright, right back to the beginning. Okay. 
Uh, sure. They, uh, they spread pretty damn quick, don't they? Okay, yep, let's not go that way. I suppose I could just sort of, like, run over like I did before. Let's do it. I'm running! And now I'm finally picking up the map, too. Shit. Right, here- Oh. Dad? Nah, I don't think that's gonna work. Sorry, Dad. Right, shit. Okay, so there's actually a guy with a gun. And these guys. This isn't good. Right. Real quick. Real quick. Am I gonna do this? Am I gonna have to kill my dad? He's still pointing his gun at me. Sorry. Gotta leave, gotta leave. Gotta get out of here. I'll take the hit, don't worry. Snowmobile, quick. Oh, that, that didn't seem like a very sort of like good thing to do. But he was mad, right? He's Efimov. It's because of this that you don't see this in the history books. Alright, so that's the two optional objectives complete. Now we just need to keep on going towards the radio tower, don't we? I didn't kill them all, apparently. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Yeah, thankfully, although the drill and the hole and everything, that's destroyed, this thing is still in perfect working order. Okay. So, where was I? Yeah. So I can drive this thing, can't I? Yeah. If there's any enemies in the way, they're gonna get run over. Uh, this is maybe a little easier to control than the snowmobile. Although it feels just as goofy, like the rest of the game does. Uh, so there's nothing here? It's just a, a long, long way. Here we go. Oh, more enemies. Yep. Just a couple of little nudges. That's all you need. Okay, you did that to yourself, sir. There we go. And what of you? Shall I kill you too? Sorry. Right. So. What's up? <laughs> Helipad that way. That's how we get out of here, I presume. Uh, is there a button or something? Some sort of switch? There's something over here. Fuel? Oh. Nice. Okay. The door's locked, apparently from the inside. Hmm. Something over here, the containers? They're not open on this side? No. There's a ladder. Ah. Oh, hang on a moment. I, that's not what I intended to do precisely. Oh! <laughs> I'll keep hitting it. I, oh, okay. Alright, so up there. Hey, there you go. At least we're getting some height. Uh, hmm, I, I don't know if this is the wisest move, but I suppose I meant to jump onto that. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I was worried that the hatch wasn't going to open, honestly, but, uh, we're in! Okay! Right. What we got? More ammo? Lovely. Is that another first aid kit? Oh, sorry, aid kit, that's right. Let's save, why not? Might be the last time I do, actually, seeing as there's just the helipad to go. Oh. There is a button. Yeah, there is a button! Okay, so, call evacuation from the radio tower. 
which I didn't really do, I just hit a button, but uh, yeah, get to the evacuation point. Aha. Anything down here? Oh, yep, there is. Yet more. <laughs> right, so this is where this comes out again. Nope, not that. This. Lovely. <laughs> then I knocked myself out with it. Okay. Alright, you served me well. Shame we can't go on a little bit further. Here we go. Helipad time. Alright, the last level. Ooh, the tension. The tension! Okay. Yep. Might as well take the map. Let's have a look at the area. I see a lot of blood spatter on the ground. Okay. So we got dead ends to the left and right, a giant area in the middle. And that must be the helipad itself. Okay. So, what's the dealio? What are we doing here? Oh, look at that! There's gonna be some sort of boss here, right? Some giant thing. Oh. Well, there's the helipad, yeah. Ah. More Demogorgons. More little scuttlers too. Okay, yeah, there's there's quite a few. Get out of the cave. I'm gonna go this way, I think. Okay. Not the most accurate pistol. There's no iron sights, it seems, in this game. So let's see. Anything in the dead ends? Some ammo. Oh. Uh, over here. Nothing there, unfortunately. Never mind. Let's go to the left. Maybe I can find something in the crevices and the nooks and crannies. Like dynamite. Hey, dynamite. Okay. Well, if it's anything like the blockage in uh, the first level of the cave, that's going to sort that out. Basically, dynamite solves all the problems in this game. <laughs> Snow out of nowhere. Right. Uh, yeah, I should probably just rush over there and see if I can plant it and then run away, right? Let's do that. Come on, guys, this way. Hey, yeah. That's right. Yep, seven. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Get out of the cave, okay? Right. Let's just yeah. Let's just go and fight them off here. Oh, there it is. That's pretty good service. I thought this was fairly remote, honestly. Like, maybe I'd have to wait for a few hours, but I guess not. Wait, that's it? Oh. No last stand kind of deal? Just a screech. After the report and provided evidence of incidents on the station Antarctica 1, the decision of shut down all researches was accepted. On February 7th, 1988, an emergency meeting of the UN Council was convened. Council members unanimously voted for the destruction of the station. All data received from the expedition of Efimov were classified. Again, this is why it's not in the history books. His son was the only one survivor and he took part in the destruction of the station. Okay. It was... it was nuked! Wow! Destroyed everything within a radius of 15 kilometers. And that's the good ending! I didn't find all the notes, but I did the extra objectives. I killed my dad. Always good. Uh, yeah. This game wasn't very good, but I did have some fun playing through it. I hope I entertained you for the last hour or so. Uh, if I did, leave this video a like. 
and I hope to see you back in another video very soon, alright? <laughs><laughs> You've charred enough. Oh shit, I'm dead. Sin, держись. Oh dad, I'm not dead. Oh, feels good to be back in my hands. Sure, why not? Oh, Отец, нет. <sighs> Didn't really sound like there was much emotion to that. Wait, what was that? I can't, I can't read the text. I need dynamite. Well, I've got it. Oh, five. Oh shit. Oh, hey. Apparently they can't figure out doors. <laughs> ah, he's right there! But, yeah. One person capacity, I'm afraid. But hey, that's just... That's just me almost going to my death. Now, it's because of this that you don't see this in the history books. Jump, come on. Yes! That doesn't seem safe. Yeah, I, I'm not going to call this a terrible indie horror game, but I wouldn't recommend it. Just a couple of little nudges. That's all you need. Oh, God, you did that to yourself, sir. The last level. Ooh, the tension. The tension. Basically, dynamite solves all the problems in this game. Wait, that's it? Oh. 